Good morning, everybody. This is the Big JB for Wednesday morning. Collared shirt. Eric, if you're watching, collared shirt. Collared shirt for the win. It's also a silk shirt, and I have to say I look darn good in it. One thing I'm not pleased with is this thing here. I was watching the video yesterday, and I was like, my gosh, this is getting bigger again. I also weighed myself at my in-laws' house when we were over there on the weekend. I weighed a little bit more than uh, a little bit more than I wanted to. So I don't know if that's partially because of the push-ups I've been doing, building muscle mass, and so I, you know, muscle is heavier than than fat, or if it's because I've not been eating very well. Got to watch the carbs and sugar intake. I'm such a sucker for snacks. That's the other thing. Is at bedtime I'm used to this pattern, I, I, this routine. I really enjoy a bowl of cereal at night, and um, I, tr you know, I try to eat pretty healthy stuff, but. I didn't need to eat last night. That's the thing, right? If you're not hungry, you don't need to eat. And I gotta get out of that. I gotta get out of that pattern, out of that habit. Um, I don't think the cereal is terrible as a snack, but I, I don't need to eat it when I'm not hungry. <laughs> so, um, you ever do things that you regret? Of course you do. You're a human being. Um, I did something yesterday that was pretty impulsive, and uh, I'm not gonna go into the details, but I was kind of ticked. Um, and I've done things like it before. It has to, okay, I'll give a little bit of details. So it's in the in our parking garage, and I've gone off on a tangent before, people parking in compact spots when they're not really a compact car. And then they park at a weird angle. And yesterday I couldn't get into my car through my passenger door. So I took a bunch of pictures, and I'm going to see if I can report the person. But I was pretty ticked. Um, and so, you know, uh, in the past I have done things that I regret. There is a... Um, there's a website, you park like an aholecom It is actually spelled out. Uh, but I'm going to try to keep this PG-13. I think you can say that on a PG-13 movie. Anyway, it's you park like an asshole.com. They have a printout <laughs> that you can make. And then, you know, slice it up and it's like a ticket. And it's got little check boxes about why the person parks like a jerk. And, um, you can re leave a little comment, and um, I've done that a couple times in this parking garage, and I did it one time, and I really felt like, you know, I was getting back in my car at the end of the day, I really sort of felt inside, what if I had made that person's day really bad? What if they had had a really rough day? And here I am, <laughs> doing that. Uh, so it made me feel bad. I have left some notes for people, um, that I have handwritten that have, you know, been a little sarcastic, but I try not to be abusive or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know that it makes a difference. I, I kind of feel like people who park in a jerky fashion need to know that they're doing it and, and sort of raise their self-awareness, but I'm also not sure that it's my job to do that. Um, so my response yesterday, I kind of, I kind of regret, um, it was sort of, you know, again, it was impulsive. It was out of anger, obviously. It's uh, it's never good, never good to do that. So, um, you know, I guess part of that has to do with personality. You know, I, I've talked a little bit about the um, the Myers Briggs type indicator. I know very well what my type is. I know that I am um, an external processor of my emotions and feelings, and so sometimes that means that I tend to be a little impulsive about uh, just taking action or saying something that I'm feeling or thinking. I've gotten much better with that compared to when I was 19 or 21 or even 25. Um, but it's still certainly an inclination uh, to doing that. So um, if you're not familiar with the Myers-Briggs type indicator, I encourage you to look it up um, on, um, geez, I think even a wiki uh, would work. It's Myers, M-Y-E-R-S-Briggs, B-R-I-G-G-S. They are a mother-daughter team, and then it's a type indicator. It's also listed as MBTI. They developed a, um, I wouldn't really, it's easy to call it a personality test, but it's not the, the true adherence to, um, adherence to uh, Myers-Briggs um, would say that you shouldn't call it a personality test. Um, but it, it, what it does is it's a, it, like it says, is a type indicator. And they developed 16 different types 
um, for individuals that help you understand how you are most of the time. And they sort of liken those 16 different types to um, rooms in a house. And that we can spend rooms in all of the house, but spend time in rooms in all of the house, but um, there's one room that we usually spend the most time in. And so that's kind of how they liken it. You can find some free ones online that are pretty decent, but um, the best way to do it is to go to somebody who actually can give you a full assessment um, if you're really interested in doing that. Usually it costs some money, um, but the assessment is also a lot more in depth. The ones that are free online usually ask you a yes or no question um, or give you just two options when in reality you, you should get a scale um, and then be able to kind of figure out um, your answers from there. So anyway, I definitely recommend um, doing that if you are um, interested in knowing more about Myers-Briggs please feel free to comment. And um, if you want some help understanding what your results mean, please feel free to ask me. I know a fair amount about it. Um, and I love, love that kind of stuff. So I hope that, uh, that you find some interest in that. I am going to head on into the office. I hope everybody has an awesome day. This has been the Big JB for Morning Thunder. You can follow me on Twitter at Voice of the Big JB. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye.